Not the start that he was looking for, but this man needs a quick start. Hunting down Sebastian Loeb, Julian. Big day for Miko Harvinen. That's it. Five seconds of behind into this. So these are classic finish stages. That's Let's what they call the gravel, oh, moment there. From yeah, that's what they call wide. a small road, though. Yeah, small road, but just really small enough for him. But first up, it's Ken Block, and that doesn't look good, Jules. When, when he landed, it, the, the wheels out. It, 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 he didn't hit anything there. Maybe there was something earlier on in the stage that clipped something, but uh, front suspension is not going anywhere. Quite clearly. 22k stage. Uh, just landed hard off the jump up here and uh, broke the control arm or, or the connector of the control arm to the car. So we spun out here and didn't think anything of it, didn't know something was broken. So we tried to whip around and continue. Fans helped us get. We were a little stuck on the side of the road. But when we discovered that the control arm was broken, we had just been trying to repair it. We've used a couple... Uh, uh, tie downs to hold it in, and we'll we'll see if we can get back to service. My, I, I'm out. I'm out of tenth place. Which having to push so hard to keep Anderson behind him, and to be fair, pushing just a little bit too hard in the Owen Poyer stage. Oh, that was a very big one, indeed for Craig Breen. Looked spectacular, Julian, but didn't come to a stop too quickly. That's the good news. Both crew fit and well. That's it, they're both getting out there. Uh, just such a disappointment for Craig, obviously leading at that point. And then P.G. Anderson putting him under pressure.